You busy? I have a few moments spare. How's your day? Sharon. She was even late to the meeting she was promoted at. You know I would have been perfect for that job. That sucks. I'm sorry. Maybe this will make you feel better. That is just what I need. So, I was hoping your afternoon would be clear so we could hold a peer-to-peer -peer conference. I could do some team building exercises, as long as I punch out by dinner. <laughs> oh, no overtime? I'd have to ask my supervisor first. You wait here. I'll go and get him. Hold that thought. Shit. Hey, honey. You excited for tonight? Hey, sweetie. What's up? You made reservations at seven, right? Who? No, I understand. It's okay. You go ahead. Yeah, it's fine. Uh, I have a lot of work already. No, no, you go have fun. I'll cancel the reservations. It's cool. Yeah, yeah, it's fine. Sounds like a good time. Send me a picture. Be safe. Okay. Okay. Love, Love you. you. Bye. Bye. Looks like my night just freed up. Mine too. Sorority sister from out of town is out hiking with her and she wants to stay out longer, I guess. Where are they? Near woods. So, since we're both free, are you going to answer that? Just a picture. Let's see it. Whatever happened to boundaries? Just show me the picture. Big fan of sunsets, are we? Goddamn backstabbing son of a bitch! That fucking traitor! What? The backpack? I, I don't know, it's not mine! I know it's not yours! That motherfucker! What? I knew I heard that. He's dragging that horse face, Kappa Psi Omega comes around with that backpack that I bought him! Whoa! My Emily's an angel! You're insane! How could they have even met? Holiday, Holiday party. party! Son of a bitch! So that psychotic needle dick is with my Emily! Fuck! Oh, that little ungrateful two-timing tramp! It's so selfish. All those years, nothing. Mystery theater movie nights. Our Victorian with the bay windows, nothing. Foggy mirror messages. Our the mind shattering sex, nothing. How could they do this to us? I guess we shouldn't be surprised. What's that supposed to mean? You said that that asshole's never home. What do you think he's been doing? Oh, and like little Miss Sorority is the symbol of fidelity. Fuck off, Mark. At least when Brad's home, he's there for me. What the fuck have I been trying to do? I asked about your day. Directly followed by liquor and innuendos. Way to make me swoon. You're impossible. And are you saying that Emily doesn't care about me? Cause she loves me, all right? Clearly. At least she listens to me and cares about my problems instead of just having sex with me. At least she gives a shit about my emotions. Unlike that heartless scumbag of a husband you got shackled too. Brad may be a cheater, but he's done more for me than anyone else ever has done. I'm lucky to have him for a husband. It's going to be Don't okay. Don't fucking touch me. I've got to go fix my marriage. Um, sweetie, um, sweetie, um, sweetie, sweetie. No, no, no. Look, there's something I need.